started by the Sick Preacher Research Institute, San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. And uh, so, of course, Ravi told me I had to mention the bummer at some point today. So, uh, I was actually traveling around in Italy uh, recently, and I went to Rome, and there I met a bummer. <laughs> so, he, he like loved me, um, which I found out later was literal because he was gay. <laughs> So he started telling me about how great Rome is and how great six are, and I didn't believe him. And he goes, no, true story. He tells me how the Vatican was actually formed. And he tells me that back in the day, the Pope and the six in Rome were fighting with each other. Um, and so, you know, like farmland dispute or whatever. <laughs> so, the Pope said, I'm going to kick out all the six in Rome. And, you know, we don't, we don't take that lightly. So, they decided to do what they always do, and they held a great debate. Um, so, here the Pope and the six start debating, and just to make things interesting, they decide that they're not allowed to speak. Of course, the sick guy didn't know English anyways. <laughs> That's a different story. So, they're debating, and the Pope goes first. And he looks at the sick guy, and he raises up three fingers. Yes, three. <laughs> and then, the sick guy looks at him back, just smiles, and raises one. And the Pope says, all right, all right. <laughs> so he looks to the sky and he starts spinning his finger around and it's not fun guys. <laughs> so then the sick guy says and the Pope's like okay okay so he pulls out some wine and some bread and the sick guy just smiles and pulls out an apple and then the Pope just walks off and he says, never mind, you guys win. We're going to create our own separate nation. You can have Rome. And so everyone's cheering, you know, they're doing fun girls, they're going crazy. And, I mean, I'm sorry, they're doing Bach and they're going crazy. You know, all the Christians, they're like, what just happened? You're the Pope, you know? And uh, so they talk to him and the Pope says, well, you know, the sick guy is just so smart. Um, I went up to him and, you know, I thought I'd trick him. So I raised up three fingers to tell him about my faith, tell him about the Trinity. And the sick guy just smiled and raised one finger because there's still one God. And he said, okay. So I told him that, you know, God is all around us. But the sick guy said, no, God is here inside us and within us. So then he said, okay. So I pulled out the wine and the bread to show that you know, our Savior, Jesus, died to absolve us from our sins. And the sick guy pulled out an apple to remind us of original sin. <laughs> so, the Catholics are like, wow, you know, these sick are so smart. <laughs> Meanwhile, back they're at the divan, where they're doing fun. <laughs> the sick guys are all, you know, they're asking him, what just happened? We didn't understand what happened. And so the sick guy goes, don't worry. The Pope came up to me and he went like this. He said, you have three days to get the hell out of Rome. <laughs> but I told him, not one sick is moving from <laughs> He tells me, okay, we're going to surround the city. <laughs> and the uh, sick guy points to his feet and says, First, you gotta kiss my feet. <laughs> so then, everyone's like, wow, that's amazing. You know, you got such um, balls. <laughs> and I can't believe you said that to the Pope. And he just amazed. And they said, then what happened? And the sick guy's like, I don't know. He pulled out his lunch. So I pulled out my lunch. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
But uh, I'd just like to end with uh, one of my favorites, and that is, what do you call a Pakistani prostitute <laughs> that moves to France? You said this one last time. Yeah, you did this. Not more. <laughs> <laughs>